Hello, young man. I am the tree monster, and I'm here to tell you the first three tales. And once I'm done doing that, you are going to have to tell me your tale. And if you refuse to do it, I will find you, and I will kill you. No, actually, I already found you. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I already found you, and obviously I'm not going to kill you. You are a young boy, and you're going through, honestly, a very rough time right now that I most certainly would not want to deal with. But yes, young lad, please listen to my first three tales, as I am the Tree Monster. Hey there everybody, this is 22TigerDude here and I'm here to review A Monster Calls. So A Monster Calls is directed by J.A. Bayona and the film stars Lewis McDougall, this is his introduction, Sigourney Weaver, Felicity Jones, Toby Kebbell, and Liam Neeson as the voice of the tree monster. So A Monster Calls tells the story of this boy named Connor. He's going through a tough time in his life right now as he is dealing with the fact that his mother is very sick so when Connor honestly doesn't know what to do he calls the help of the tree monster and this tree monster is here to help him cope with his mother dealing with this illness. A Monster Calls looked very interesting to me. I've been waiting for this film ever since I saw that teaser trailer back in November of 2015. I basically waited a little over a year for this film. And J.A. Bayona, who I know directed The Impossible, it was a very solid but very powerful film. I thought The Impossible was honestly just a well-made film. And I know this film is based off of a book, this film is written by Patrick Ness, and he also wrote the book, so the fact that they even got the author to write the script actually sounds very intriguing, and I just really wanted to see this kind of story being brought to the big screen since I've never read the book. And I have to say, watching A Monster Calls, it really blew me away. This movie truly is an achievement from J.A. Bayona. How the story is told was told in such a powerful manner. This film is about how a boy has to cope with his own grief, how he has to cope with the fact that his mother is sick and how he needs to stay with his grandmother and how they don't exactly look at each other eye to eye and the fact that his own father, played by Toby Kebbell, moved to America so his father isn't really around as much. Liam Neeson as the tree monster, he was such a great character. He would come in to tell these tales that could feel familiar with what the boy is going through. He'll tell like three tales and then the boy has to tell his own tale. And I'm gonna say this, the first two tales of a monster calls. It was really incredible because when he's telling the first two tales, there's these illustrations as if you're reading a book. It really did take my breath away because the animation, the visuals, it's just so incredible. And speaking of visuals, that does go for the tree monster. Whoever the animators were for this tree monster, I give them a huge round of applause because the visual effects when it comes to the tree monster absolutely look so stunning. They really did such a mesmerizing job with the visuals. This definitely has some of the best visuals I've seen in 2016 since yes this is considered a 2016 movie and the performances from everyone were just so terrific like I said earlier this is Lewis McDougall's um, I hope I pronounced it right if I didn't I'm very sorry but this is his first film and what a way to start off his career because this little boy just provides so much emotion and he truly does make you cry, especially as you go on with the movie. He really was so great here. Felicity Jones also gives a heartbreaking performance as Connor's mother. And just like with Connor, she definitely makes you cry. For every single screen time Felicity Jones has, 
every time she shows up, she truly does bring it. Sigourney Weaver as the grandma, she was really great too, to be honest. And she starts out as unlikable because of the way she would treat Connor. But then as the movie goes along, you could see where she's coming from. And you do start to feel sympathy for her as the movie goes along. And then I also have to say that Toby Kebbell, although he's not in this film a whole lot, he really was so great as Connor's father. Even though his screen time is very limited, he really does give it his all. And I really wish Toby Kebbell was in this movie longer. And Liam Neeson, I for almost forgot to mention his voice work. His voice fit the tree monster so perfectly. I can't honestly imagine anyone else voicing this tree monster. Liam Neeson truly does embody this tree monster and my goodness every single line that he delivers is absolutely believable. This is some of Liam Neeson's best work. I really do mean it. It's a very emotional ride. Like this film for me personally it hit the feels. I, I am not going to lie when I say that I bald cried. I can't remember the last time where a movie honestly had me bawling crying. Like there's been movies, you know, where I would shed a tear or maybe two tears, but no, all, a lot of tears came out of me because once you get to the climax, it is not only emotional, but it is very satisfying and it is a great way to conclude a story about grief because that's what this film is. It is the story of how this boy deals with the stages of grief and it was handled in such a compelling way. The direction by J.A. Bayona was so terrific. There's a lot of amazing shots in this film. The cinematography is some of the best I've seen. This is a very dim looking movie and I think the dim lighting definitely fits the tone of the movie. It definitely fits the atmosphere very well. And the music to A Monster Calls is definitely so beautiful. It definitely fits just the overall movie and the script by Patrick Ness. It was just so moving on how it was told. Now, personally, the only problems I will say that I did have with the monster calls is that the first 20 minutes did feel a little choppy, in my opinion, as far as how the story was structuring, how they were setting up the story. It did come off as a little choppy, in my opinion. There were a few parts that I did find to be just a little bit slow. It's mainly just in the beginning to be honest where I did feel the pacing a little bit. There is this bully that I felt like was just there to pick on Connor and that's really it. It was just your generic bully just to pick on someone and nothing more. And I do think that the tree monster he would repeat a few things in the film where I'm all like okay I've already heard that the first time I don't need to hear it again. He just says things a couple of times and there wasn't really any need for this tree monster to repeat certain things a few more times in my personal opinion. But overall you guys, A Monster Calls is truly a breathtaking movie. This is a mesmerizing, powerful story on how you deal with grief. This is definitely something everyone I know can relate to. The visuals are spectacular. The music, the production design, all of that stuff is truly great. So I'm going to give a monster calls three and a half out of four stars. It is truly a work of art. It's an amazing movie in my opinion. It would be an A minus on a letter grade. That's how much I love this movie. I'm definitely glad this movie was adapted from the book because I definitely do feel like a story like this is important to tell for the big screen. It truly is something. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about A Monster Calls. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!